Hey, greetings Tuberinos. How you doing? Well today, we're going to crack a couple more and see if we can understand this guy, Night Vision Phantom. Night Vision Phantom is the name and his latest video is called Atheism 101. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Where is it? There it is. Hello everyone, this is the Night Vision Phantom bringing you another round of video. Another round of video. Today I want to cover something that... I personally have a lot of experience with. Uh huh. Um, it's actually something I deal with on a day to day basis, even though I don't interact with others personally. It's an aspect of my life we'll that see. I've we'll see. struggled with on a number of occasions. Uh huh. And that would be the topic of atheism. You have struggled with atheism. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, aren't you a uh, creationist? at one point, I had this belief that when you died, all that happened to you was you turned to dust and that was it. As a teenager, there was no you God. That's mm -hmm. all there was to it. There was no way God could have created anything. No way God could have done anything for me because hey, if I prayed, God never answered, I never saw him, he never showed his face to me. And as far as we so know, that's default, probably true. There was no God. As time went on, I believe I kind of grew more agnostic than anything. Okay. And then... It's okay to have doubts. Who doesn't? Beyond that, I started... When I was a kid, I wanted to be a believer. And what that when I was a teenager, I didn't believe it so much. Through a long, drawn-out process, I'll explain some other time, mm -hmm. I became a Christian, and here I am. You became a Christian through uh, a long, drawn-out process that you'll explain as a Christian have some changed, other time. Uh... Fine. I began to think more conservatively, Whatever. more scripturally, and so you're a conservative creationist. I see I get how it. it affects the world around me. Um, you see how what you believe personally affects I the world around you. Did I catch that right? A lot of atheistic people. Uh, I have a lot of history in doing so on the internet with uh, mm -hmm. armchair. Yeah. yeah, I'm aware of you um, and uh, Coughlin a few years ago. That's kind of where you got most of your attention, well, wasn't it? Not necessarily every day, but quite often, you know, I deal with those people that have a an atheistic mindset or have a... Mm -hmm. In other words, they don't buy it? Where if there is a God, it's certainly in the back of their mind. Uh -huh. um, or maybe they just don't buy it at all. So What's wrong with that? How do I... Now, based on this world that we live in, mm -hmm. if we are, as a collective in this entire world, if we are somehow, you know, the overwhelming majority of people, I say, they want a level of peace. They want to bring peace to the world. They sure. want to bring balance to sure. the world. Sure. Absolutely. What matter, good person doesn't? Everybody has their own definition of peace, but how can we True. ultimately I'm with find you. what that it's working. answer is? It's working. The answer? So there is no one today answer. Today is discuss how Christianity, or rather, the belief in God. Let's just say the belief in God, okay. or a belief in a deity, intelligent design. How that compares to an atheistic viewpoint because I'm looking forward to your finally laid out argument Christianity or a Christian person their opinions seem very, or their beliefs seem very straightforward yeah, to the no. point not necessarily in all cases it, it, but straightforward and to the point the overall general idea of what they are trying to convey creationist beliefs Me, are straightforward dealing with atheists on the other hand or even just agnostics yourself. let's just say the, the opinions, the directions, and the discussions all can go in many directions, and you can't really draw yeah, the same. So? You can, well, you can draw the same conclusion, but sometimes you have to take a really long way around. So, what, what the I hell are you talking about, man? Is as harsh as I may come. Quite frankly, I think I atheism the is the more simple point of view. I don't buy it. What part of that don't you get? How simplistic one idea is over the other. Uh -huh. How ridiculous 
one idea is over the other. If and it's a simple idea, it should be self-evident. Along if with the you evidence to support one thing, there is really something wrong with you. And okay. I will get into that. Yeah. So, uh -huh. enjoy. I'm going okay, to he switched to another video here, presumably filmed at another time. And direct as possible, so that way what I say to you cannot go over your heads. Although, for oh, some I appreciate reason, that. After all, so many of you out there are going to be so incredibly I've had a couple and already. angry that no matter what I say in this video, you're going to have no choice but to throw it aside and ignore it. But I figured that I just explore the issue at its complete core. And so, if we start from I'm the into everything complete else and detailed after, arguments, ev supported by evidence and argument. Going to say to you, Let's go for it. Going to make any sense at all. Eh? So, what yes. are the odds that some right of the things this guy, a creationist, says doesn't make any sense? Wait We're a minute, we missed yourself. something. Well, 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 let's go back here a second. Just Let's try that again. Explore the issue at its complete core. Mm -hmm. And so, if we start from the beginning, uh -huh. everything else from there on after will make more sense. Sure, why not? Or, in the case of what I'm going to say to you, it's not going to make any sense at all. So, what you're going to say this makes no sense. Right here is atheism. He's pointing to an empty you're whiteboard. You're going to say to yourself, whoa, fat boy, that's, uh, that's a, um, My. a dry erase board, or that's the color white. Spare me your sarcasm. <laughs> There's nothing there. Oh, fuck off. Atheism, literally, is the belief in nothing. Uh, no. Nothing at all. No. No. They will say to you, oh, atheism is just simply the lack of belief in God or gods. Yes, that's right. Interestingly enough, they usually only say they don't believe in God, the singular. Uh, no. I don't believe and in any they gods. They very well quickly discount all the other belief systems, but seem to have a particular dislike and hatred for Christianity, Judaism even. Probably because that's the one they're the most exposed to. Fondness or embrace for Islamic uh, beliefs. No. But that's another topic for another day. So. Hold on a second here. Hold on. Hold on. And let's try that again. Let's, let's go back for a moment and catch what he actually said here. Interestingly enough, they usually only say they don't believe in God, the singular, and they very well quickly discount all the other belief systems, but seem to have a particular dislike and hatred for Christianity. Ju because that's the one they are most exposed to, therefore that's the one they most need to refute. Uh, Judaism even, and for some weird reason, have a fondness or embrace for Islamic uh, beliefs. Where do you get that shit? No. Uh, uh, no. That's bullshit. Now, okay, we're going to take the risk of going uh, long in this video. I hope you guys have patience for that, because quite frankly, uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't believe that. I don't think most people believe that. Uh, in fact, I don't believe in any gods or any religions. I don't care if it's Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Anishinaabe. I don't care. What do you got? I don't buy it. How fucking basic is that? But that's another topic for another day. Oh, yes, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start an argument and then don't support it. So, since we've established that atheism Fuck. is nothing... Wait a minute. We've established what here? Uh, say that again. Nothing at all. Atheism is nothing at all. Well, okay, logically speaking, you got me. Because, in fact, atheism is... Nothing at all. It is, in fact, I don't buy it. And I don't, let's just like I don't buy most of the shit you're battling right now. Somehow, that got there. Mm hmm. That's a dot. It's a dot on a whiteboard. I can't see it by chance. Because it's not on camera. Because some Christian fuckhead might false DMCA me if I show his face on YouTube, even though he himself posted it for public view. Mm -hmm. That dot somehow got there. Yep, somehow. Could be. Far as we know. We don't know where it came from. That's right. I don't. Neither do you. We don't know who made it. That's right. I don't. Neither do you. If anybody at all. That's right. It 
somehow was always there. But we no. I never said that. The theory doesn't say that. It may have been momentary. It may have been always there. I don't know. By the way, what the hell is wrong with saying that? We don't know where it came from. That's right. We don't know. And for some weird reason, this dot that we don't know where it came from mm -hmm. went kaboom. No. It was an expansion, not a kaboom. And thus the universe was born. Thus things were created. Perhaps. Probably. As far as we know. We have uh, solar systems. No. No, 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 no. No. That came later. Right here, we have uh, the sun right there. Again, stars came later. We have the moon. Well, this is just examples. We have entire... No, we just have several stars and uh. other things. I'm going to leave a little backup, I think. Ah, we got to leave some backup. But for some unknown reason, we don't know how it got there. We don't know how it exploded. We don't know why it exploded. We have theories. Exactly. We don't know. And neither do you. And by the way, what the hell is wrong with saying, I don't know? Why do so many people need to pretend they know the fucking answer? What the hell is wrong with saying, I don't know? We have ways we can guess, but we ultimately do not know the origins of exactly how this process came about. Right. Because through this process, we have time, we have space, we have matter, and we have energy. Energy. All of those are interconnected. Yes, they do appear to be so. Without those, I don't know, it just can't be done the right way. Without those, it just can't be done the right way. What the hell does that mean? It's chaotic without those things. So, how did it get there? Let's try In to get through way, this. We do not know. That's right, we don't know. And people like you who claim you think you know because you just know, because it says so in the Bible. You are the types I have a problem with. The atheistic view does not know because they do. That's right. I don't know. They do not know where the beginning is. They know it's not God. Probably not God. I don't know. They just don't. A creator couldn't have created this stuff. That's too far-fetched. That's unlikely. That's improbable. I didn't say I don't know that didn't happen. Fuck you and your straw man, too. An empty, dry erase board makes more sense that it created something than nothing at all. It makes more sense than just saying God did. This, on the other hand, is God. God was always there from the beginning. God oversees everything in the entire universe. God is in charge of time. He's in charge of space. He's in charge of matter. How do you know this? He's in charge of energy. When all these things... He's in charge of drawing random things on a fucking whiteboard and saying he's in charge of without any fucking proof whatsoever, just because I said so. Things are directly connected. You can have no chaos whatsoever. <laughs> Total organization. Total. Total organization. Total completion. And from there, directly, you can have planet Earth. Just because you just draw a line on a whiteboard from the word God, it proves God exists. And you can have organization and Earth. I don't drink enough you can to understand have these the people. Moon. You can have the pl other planets. You can have the sun. Mm -hmm. You can have all of these things. No. You can have animals. You no. You can have 
plants. No. You can have water. You're full you of shit. every other thing that... I don't fucking buy it. ...that makes composition of life possible. How? How? You haven't explained anything. You simply said, I don't buy this shit, God. I don't, under, I don't buy any of that shit, so I don't understand it. Therefore, God. I cannot drink enough to be this fucking stupid. This is so incredibly simple that I'm surprised a two-year-old hasn't understood it yet. It would take a two-year-old to fucking buy it. Maybe they already have. Maybe you are just incredibly ignorant. But Maybe I'm just incredibly fucking stubborn. Maybe I'm just incredibly unwilling to buy any fucking bullshit that fucking some idiot babbles. Like I've said before, you're either asleep, ignorant, or stupid. I hope you're the first. We can fix the second, but sadly, you can't fix stupid. And <laughs> Look who's talking. Just to quote the verse once again. See, as all of this is, you still deny the fact that it could be God. And no, I do not. See, that's the thing. One, the fucking thing many of you fucking creationists are absolutely ignoring. I do not deny the possibility that it could be God. It is possible. It is extremely unlikely. But it's possible. I'm just using this from a intelligent design standpoint. I'm not going. And let's deal with that right now. Intelligent design. <sighs> Fuck me. The jokes write themselves. Coming into aspects of uh, creationism or anything along those lines, or you know, polytheism. This is as simply. This is just simply saying something out there had the ability to create everything else out there. This is saying that something out there had the... That's what it sounds like to me. I'm sorry, but, you know, that's what it sounds like to me. I'm fucking halfway drunk, and this guy still sounds like a fucking idiot. But for some reason, this is so idiotic in your minds that... <laughs> Just fucking, it writes itself. That you have no choice but to discredit it immediately. Not mm -hmm. because you drew the conclusion yourself. No, because it's but because stupid. Other people have ingrained it into your brain. No. That for some reason, there's no way that something that already exists created something. Let's deal with that. No. Let's not. <laughs> Moving on. In fact, it, we do, we're just, we'd rather choose something that we have no certainty on. We choose chaos over order. It's totally stupid. And I'm sorry to say that, but if you do not believe in that a, a creator, an intelligent designer, you are stupid. What? And some of you will say, oh, well, if it's not... If you don't buy it because I say it's true, then you're fucking stupid. Because uh, I said it's true, so therefore it's true. Because uh, I said it's true, so therefore you're fucking stupid. Uh, now something else could have created the universe. You will say, "Oh, it's either aliens or." Some I'm just kind not of getting these guys. I just, I, I don't know. The universe was always there, but we have no idea where it came from. That's right. We don't. And unlike you people, we don't pretend we do. What don't you get about that? You're discredited because, you know, where do the aliens come from? I don't know. Where do the super-powered uh, mecha robots come from? From the fucking movies. Um, you know, all you know, these space entities, if you will. Nobody's proved that yet, either. You have no explanation other than to deny what's actually possible and just go with some other theory that you have. I don't deny what's possible. I just like to have evidence to make it myself believe it's probable. I don't think that's too much to ask. No certainty on. So if you do not believe in God, you are incredibly ignorant. 
<laughs> the fool hath saith in his heart, there is no God. The blah, 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 because it's in a book. And I'm sorry, you are a fool if you do not believe in the God. In the God. Uh, the Christian God versus the Zeus or the fucking something else I am very sorry but that's the way it goes and how am I supposed to deal with the next idiot that comes along you know there's something wrong with you don't believe in the Muhammad, Muhammad or whatever the fuck oh fuck this shit's kicking in <laughs> you know I'm not necessarily okay we're uh, out of that video and we're back down to the uh, other fucking video that he was starting with or whatever. Necessarily using this video as a way to discredit the Big Bang theory, the theory of evolution, or other religions, but I will discuss those in future videos in more detail. But I do plan on discussing atheism in more detail as well. This oh, I, you know, I wish you would. <laughs> this is just the top of it all. I mean, oh, I'll say. This is just the, the, the first layer, if you will. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, beneath the layer of your bullshit, maybe we can actually get some, some fucking facts. The point of this video was for me to discuss exactly how a complete and perfect idea is true over a belief system of confusion, uncertainty, and chaos. When and where did you do that in any of this fucking video? With the intelligent design or God idea... The answer is already there in front of you. Fuck you. It's <laughs> clear as day. It, it's clear as day just because it's written down because I say it's fucking true. Uh, ignore the fact that it makes no fucking sense. But people aren't satisfied with that answer because for some reason, if it's too simple... It's not about simplicity. It's about fucking making sense. It has to be wrong. I am glad to know, from my opinion and my viewpoint, that it's so obvious that Christianity is the way to go, you know, God is the it's way to go. It's just That's so just obvious, because I said so, and because I didn't support I anything I said in this video with any fucking evidence whatsoever, fucking ever, but just because I, I said so. If you because ultimately, because I'm uncomfortable with anything else, and I don't understand... So, of course, it's got to be wrong. You claim to be an intelligent person, or if you are a person that claims to desire to find the answers out there, you'll find the truth one day, too. It's like studying uh, hard for a research just, just let's get on with or it. a school project. We're not a fucking beer. That, you know, if you honestly are researching it and studying it, you will draw the conclusion, in my opinion, that you will find that, yes... It is, in fact, God or an intelligent designer. And I still can't understand these people. I'll go into a lot more detail on the specifics. So oh, I'm, I'm you just go right ahead. So far. But, you see, the truth hurts to people. And that's why I believe that so many people avoid it. Because... <sighs> okay, I've had enough. I don't think you're interested in the truth. You're interested in just babbling your crap and getting some fucking attention. If you were interested in the truth, you would institute a process that at least looks at the evidence and deals with reality. People like you are not interested in that. Screw this. I am moving on. Enough of that crap. Peace. A long life to you, people.